Yo, what's up? It's Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And I always talk about writing SQL, T-SQL or whatever flavor SQL you want to write. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate your SQL. Stay tuned. If you find this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both Adam and this guy. So I was at a conference and I was talking about, oh, I just write a query. People were like, Patrick, we don't all know how to write queries. And I'm like, well, oh, it's easy. I'm like, no, it's not easy. And then this one guy came up to me, wait, 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 enough of all this talking. You guys know what I like to do? Let's head over to my laptop. Am I gonna start management studio? That's where you thought I was gonna go. No, you have this table that you've imported into or connected to in Power BI and we're in the query editor and your DBA gave you this and it was like, I don't want all this stuff. Patrick says, I don't need all the columns. I just need a few columns. He's like, send me the query, I'll create a view. And you're like, I don't know how to do that. Well, somebody brought this up to my attention at the conference and I was blown away. So I have this table that I've imported. If you scroll all the way to the right, if there's relationships, Power BI automatically picks up these relationships. If you click on this little icon right here, it'll expand it and it'll show you all the columns in the table. I'm gonna uncheck this and I only want the color of the product and the English product name. That's all I want. I'm gonna click okay. And then check this out. The only columns I really care about are the order date, the sales territory the sales order number the color the product name order quantity and the sales amount that's the only columns i care about boom and i only want sales territories where the number is less than or equal to five i did all of that in power query and now all you need to do is make sure it's folding and if you're not sure how to keep your queries folding go take the 30-day folding query that alex powers put out on the interwebs go take it but if everything is folding all you need to do is go to the last step right click choose view native query and i'm thinking to myself where are you going with this copy this and then go to your email box and email this to your DBA or go to Teams, go whatever you want. And what your DBA is gonna do is pop this in, probably look at it and go, oh, I can optimize this a bit. But all the DBA is gonna do now is say, create view from my analyst. Okay, I don't know what they're gonna call it, ass. They're gonna do something like that and then say, hey, the view's created, they give you permission, and then you could use that view in your Power Query and you don't have to use any native queries. You don't have to do all those transformations. You've pushed it all the way upstream and now you just get the stuff you want. I was like, oh my God, this is ingenious. I never thought about this. All right, what do you guys think? Have you thought about that? Have you done anything like this before? Have you sent queries off to your DBA? Do you need some other tool that need queries? You use Power, Power Query to generate those queries? It's bananas. I love to know. Let's continue the conversation. Where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video? Big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Ha <laughs> ha.